Though their offense has been atrocious tonight, they have gotten after it defensively. Yao Ming, now the follow. 74-66. The Rockets' all-time low. Well, quarter San Antonio with a 74-68 lead. You see timeouts remaining. San Antonio two left. Rockets have one full timeout. And the foul is called. So Rockets over the foul limit. It is on McGrady. That's only his first. San Antonio huddled up chatting with head coach Greg Popovich and the officials say guys come out come out to the floor you got to play well Popovich is furious they didn't run the play that he had designed and then Anu Ginobili with the dangerous cross-court pass that was very nearly intercepted by Houston Kevin Brown five for five with the line he now has 17 points 85 percent free throw shooter and it looks like Rick Popovich is upset with Mano Ginobili and that's what that discussion was about and they did not get that play correct out of the timeout and Popovich obviously upset with Manu here's McGrady for three 35 seconds to go they look to foul and the Sora picks up number six and the Spurs now lead by seven Rockets looking for a quick shot Bowen is all over McGrady foul is picked up a potential four point play Tracy McGrady from downtown and Tim Duncan could not get out of the way call for the foul wow. what a shot by McGrady you'll see the screen by Yao Ming which forces Duncan to help and he just draws the contact and somehow gets it to go Incredible shot by T-Mac. So McGrady to the line where he has hit on three of three, looking for point number 27, and looking to complete a four-point play. Houston has to, they brought Brent Berry into the game to shoot free throws, and they're going to try to get the ball to Devin Brown, who's four for four here. Barry inbounds into the backcourt to use some time. Parker chasing by McGrady. Now Brown. And so it's Yao Ming, Scott Padgett, Tracy McGrady up front, Reese Gaines, and Andre Barrett in the backcourt. Barrett will throw in 16.2 to go in the fourth. Barrett can't find anybody. They have no timeouts remaining. Finally gets it in to McGrady. McGrady over Bowen for three. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> Tracy McGrady cuts it to a two-point lead. And timeout taken by, by San Antonio. And that was close to another potential four-point play. Bowen was all over McGrady. Timeout San Antonio. 11.2 to go in the fourth quarter. In the last 38 seconds, Houston has scored 14 points. They've outscored the Spurs 14 to 6. And this a moment ago. Well, they almost didn't get the ball in. And now you've got the best defender in the game on McGrady. How does he hit this? Bowen not wanting to pick up the foul. And McGrady amazingly somehow gets it to go. It's a two-point game. And a good job by Andre Barrett. They had no timeouts left. Close to a five-second count, but got the ball inbound so 11.2 to go in this fourth quarter san antonio now clinging to a two-point lead they've led by as many as 11 yao ming on the inbounds trying to make things difficult for brent barry gets it in Kevin brown lost it here comes mcgrady no timeout remaining mcgrady for the win yes! 1.7 to go san antonio with no timeout here's parker and the rockets Steal a game from the Spurs. Tracy McGrady with an incredible performance down the stretch, including a four-point play. Tracy.
Hakeem O'Grady with 33 points. The showdown continues this time. San Antonio had won seven straight against Houston, and it's all McGrady scoring the last 13 for the Rockets. 13 points in 33 seconds. And he never had a doubt that he was going to pull up from three and go for the win, and why not? Unbelievable. All those people who left, Mark, they're driving home in their cars right now wondering what were we thinking. Well, we were wrapping it up for San Antonio, but we had to stay. An astounding finish. The Rockets pull it out. Let's go to Craig and Tracy McGrady. Well, T-Mac, points were so hard to come by in this game. Suddenly you put up 13 in the past 45 seconds. What was going on out there? Trying to do anything possible to get a shot up. And uh, in situations like that, best player got to step up and try to make plays. And shots are falling for me at the end. I don't know how I got him off because Bruce Bowen is a pest on the defensive man. But, you know, my wheels just took over and, and was knocking down shots for me. Down by double digits in the final minute. Was it the four-point play that you made when Duncan followed you on the three that made you feel, hey, we can actually win this thing? You know what? That's what gave me confidence when I knocked down that four-point play. He gave me confidence to just do it again. Anytime I got the ball in my hand in any room that I got to get up a shot, I was going to let it go. But still, you guys are so far behind. They had the ball a few seconds. They turn it over. How did you get the ball? What were you thinking? Well, we were supposed to just trap and uh, go for it still. Unfortunately, you got it. You know, fortunate enough, the guy slipped, ball came right to me, and the uh, only thing I was thinking about, I didn't want to tie the game, so I was thinking about getting up a three. Got it up, ball game. I, 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 I never been a, a part of anything like this, so you got to excuse me. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you get a chance to uh, get to look at the replay, but that's why you're the NBA scoring champ. I appreciate it, Kurt. <laughs> Back to you, Mark. Right, thank you, Craig. That was a gutsy shot by Tracy McGrady for the game winner. He went for the win. It was 74-64 with 52 seconds remaining. Houston with a 17-6 run in the last 52 seconds to pull it out. Thanks to our producer, Scooter Bertino.